Presenting the cryothermic bracing for the 21st century. The new Climaware RX cryothermic wrist wrap by Dama Innovations is an advanced multidimensional wrist hand orthosis intended to decrease pain symptoms associated with various wrist injuries and surgery to improve wrist joint function. Climaware RX cryothermic wrist wrap has a modular design which consists of the following parts. The main body comprising of the heating cooling unit powered by the patented Climacon technology. A cooling heating Fenar eminence wrap. A wrist hinge with controlled range of motion. A palm wrap. A detachable wrist immobilizer and a thumb spica. A moist heat pad. A rechargeable lithium polymer battery powered touch controller. A battery charger specially designed water feeder bottle. AY extension cord and silicon pad. Now we will discuss setting up the hinge. Only a licensed healthcare practitioner should perform the initial application of the wrist wrap and setting up the hinge. Follow the recommendation of your healthcare practitioner regarding the frequency and duration of use. This futuristic wrap is designed to provide extraordinary performance and protection for easy progression through various stages of post-injury recovery, rehabilitation, and return to action. The articulating hinge system offers adjustable range of motion from full extension and flexion in increments of 10 degrees. Let us take a minute to understand the components of the wrist hinge. The hinge comes with a slot on the main body, a pair of slot pan head screws, a pair of adjustment screws, a pair of sliders with stoppers, a contoured hinge leg with a velcro hook. The hinge system is designed for immobilization as well as end range blocking. Note that the adjustment screw needs to be marked 30 degrees greater than the angle to which the arrow points. For example, if you want the hinge to stop at 20 degrees of extension, point the arrow at 20 degrees and place the adjustment screw at 50 degrees. If you wish to restrain wrist movement, you can set up a static hinge by lining up the arrow at 0 degrees on the hinge. Let us now see how to adjust the hinge to introduce range of motion. Line up the arrow on the hinge with the greatest amount of extension desired. You can control the range of motion by changing the position of the adjustment screws along the circumference of the hinge. Attaching the hinge on the main body. Place and fix the hinge on the plastic hinge rail affixed to the main body of the wrist wrap with a slot pan head screw. Repositioning the hinge for custom fit application. Loosen the slot pan head screws to adjust the position of the hinge by moving it along the hinge rail on the wrist wrap main body. For proper functioning, align the axis of the hinge distal to the peak of the radial styloid. Then you can adjust the position of the cooling heating points one inch distally along the wrist and the palm, and one half inch proximally while retaining the alignment of the axis of the hinge. Once done, tighten the two-part screw with a screwdriver. Make sure the distance between the screws is as wide as possible. The hinge slot comes with an indigenous design with hinge rails that are placed on either side of the main body so the main body of the wrist wrap can be worn both on the right or the left hand. Also, this design feature allows the user to wear the wrist wrap either on the palmer or on the dorsal side of the hand without impeding the functioning of the hinge. The Climaware RX cryothermic wrist wrap is designed to be multifunctional and is applicable for just about any bracing need for wrist, hand, or thumb. The various applications possible with the wrist wrap are a wrist wrap with controlled range of motion plus cooling and heating thenar eminence strap, and detachable thumb spico. A wrist wrap with controlled range of motion plus cooling heating thenar eminence strap. Wrist wrap with controlled range of motion plus palm strap and detachable thumb spico. Wrist wrap with controlled range of motion plus palm strap. Wrist wrap main body plus immobilizer and wrist wrap flexible positioning of cooling points. Let us go through the sequence of steps to wear the complete wrist wrap. Begin by inserting the detachable thumb spica into the designated thumb slot on the Thenar Eminence Wrap and fixing it with the Velcro underneath. Next, insert the Velcro hook on the contoured hinge leg into the Velcro pocket on the Thenar Eminence Wrap. Secure in place. After that, insert the Thenar Eminence Wrap with the thumb spica through the thumb and place the main body of the wrap at the appropriate position on the wrist. Align the axis of the hinge distal to the peak of the radial styloid, 
such that both the main body and the Thenar eminence wrap extend far enough radially to accommodate the hinge. Secure the Velcro closure straps onto the main body. Then, fasten the straps to the Thunar eminence wrap and the thumb spiga firmly. This is how the wrist wrap looks after the application. It is lightweight, portable, and allows for instant application of hot, cold, and contrast therapies, anytime and anywhere. How to wear for wrist immobilization. A detachable immobilizer is provided that allows splinting of the wrist when additional stability is needed. For immobilization, orient the main body on a flat surface and insert the straps of the main body into the slots provided on the wrist immobilizer. Place the immobilizer on the dorsal surface of the hand and position the wrist wrap main body at the appropriate position on the wrist. Then secure the straps in place with Velcro. This is how the wrist wrap looks after wearing with the immobilizer. The immobilizer can be removed conveniently to allow mobility. Let us see how to connect the touch controller and battery unit to the wrist wrap. When you are using the wrist wrap with the Thenar Eminence wrap, connect the female connector of the Y extension cord provided to the male connector on the touch controller and battery unit. Then, plug in the male connectors of the Y extension cord to the wrist wrap main body in the Thenar Eminence wrap. Now we will discuss water feeding. To allow heat dissipation to take place more effectively, you will have to moisten the top printed surface of the main body with water. Remember to pour water from the specially designed water feeder bottle provided. While using the wrist wrap with a Thenar Eminence wrap, pour half a bottle of water, approximately 25 milliliters at a time. Place tip of water bottle directly on printed surface and pour water evenly over both printed surfaces. The main body of the wrap as well as the Thenar Eminence wrap. While using the wrist wrap with a palm wrap, pour a quarter of the bottle of water, approximately 16 milliliters at a time, evenly over the printed surface of the main body of the wrist wrap. For moist heat therapy, wet and wring the moist heat pad provided and place it on the wrist before putting it on the wrap. How to charge the battery. You have to recharge the touch controller and battery unit fully before using the Climaware RX cryothermic wrist wrap for the first time. To do so, connect the male connector of the battery charger to the touch controller and battery unit and plug in the battery charger into the wall electrical socket. Only use the charger provided with the product. The touch controller and battery unit can be charged both in power on and power off mode. When the touch controller and battery unit is powered on, the green LEDs on the touch controller and battery unit indicate the battery level, and the red LED on the battery charger indicates that charging is in progress. When the touch controller and battery unit is powered off, the red LED on the battery charger indicates that charging is in progress. After the battery is fully charged, the battery charger lights turn green. Once fully charged, always remove the battery charger from the electrical power socket and disconnect the charging pin from the touch controller and battery unit. Then, connect the touch controller and battery unit to the wrist wrap in order to power it. Note that as a safety precaution, the product has been programmed such that it doesn't work while it's charging. Let us take a look at the parts of the touch controller and battery unit. Power cord with the male connector. Never try to insert the power cord male connector into the battery charging point. This will damage the control unit permanently. Power on off button. Slide the power button located on the top side of the touch controller and battery unit to turn on the system. As soon as the touch controller and battery unit is switched on, the LEDs indicating the battery status will start to glow and cooling level low and manual mode will be turned on by default. Now let us discuss how to operate the touch controller and battery unit. Battery status. As soon as the touch controller and battery unit is switched on, the green LEDs indicating the battery status will start to glow. The green LEDs indicating the battery status will stop glowing when the battery runs out and needs to be recharged. Three glowing LEDs indicate 100% battery, two glowing LEDs indicate 50% battery, and one glowing LED indicates 10% battery. Lock unlock button. This is a toggle button. Press and hold this button once to lock the system. All controls will be deactivated when the system is locked. To unlock the system, press and hold the lock unlock button again. Cold and heat button. This is also a toggle button. 
Press and hold this button to activate cooling or heating. Cooling is selected by default. Press and hold the button again to change between cooling and heating mode. Touch the appropriate temperature level button to select the desired temperature level. Auto mode. There are two therapeutic pre-programmed auto mode options installed in the system. These auto mode options allow for the automatic alternation between cooling heating cycles at pre-programmed time intervals. Contrast therapy. Option 1. 4 minutes cooling and 2 minutes heating for 20 minutes, ending in cooling, indicated by a green LED. Option 2. 4 minutes cooling and 4 minutes heating for 20 minutes, ending in cooling, indicated by a yellow LED. Press once to select auto mode option 1. Press again to select auto mode option 2. After selecting the desired auto mode option, adjust the temperature level button to select the desired temperature. Press again to exit auto mode. Temperature level. The touch controller and battery unit offers four adjustable levels of cooling, heating, and contrast therapy. Touch the desired level to activate the same. In all four levels, the cooling mode is indicated with blue LEDs, and the heating mode is indicated with amber or orange LEDs. Low. Lowest level of cooling, heating, and contrast therapy. Medium. The medium level of cooling, heating, and contrast therapy. High. The high level of cooling, heating, and contrast therapy. And very high. The very high level of cooling, heating, and contrast therapy. Auto cutoff. The system cuts off on its own after every 20 minute session of cold hot therapy application. After the cutoff, you need to restart the system by sliding the power on off. If you observe a change in your general state or deterioration of your condition, please consult your doctor immediately. In case of any queries, please contact ClimAware Customer Service. If you're calling from inside the United States, call 305 Two five two nine zero seven six. If you're calling from outside of the United States, please call nine one eight 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 five 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 zero six three five.